Have you ever wondered which home insulation gives you the most bang for your buck and why? Let's break it down. Fiberglass is the most common insulation. Think bats or loose fill. It's affordable, easy to install, and versatile. You'll get about R3 to R4 per inch, and it costs roughly 30 to 150 cents per square foot. But it's not the best at sealing air, and the fibers can irritate your skin and lungs. Spray foam comes in two flavors. Open cell gives you around R3.5 to R4 per inch, while closed cell delivers a hefty R6 to R7 per inch. It seals air and moisture beautifully and fits tight spaces. The downside? It's pricier. Think a dollar to four dollars and fifty cents per square foot. And closed cell usually needs a pro to install. Cellulose is made from recycled paper, great for eco-conscious homeowners. It fills odd spaces well and offers R3.1 to R3.8 per inch. It's moderately priced, about 60 to 230 cents per square foot, but it can settle over time and hold moisture if not installed densely. Mineral wool, also called rock wool, brings fire resistance and soundproofing to the table. You'll get around R3 to R3.3 per inch. It's more expensive than fiberglass, typically $1.40 to $2.10 per square foot, but it's durable and moisture resistant. Just be aware it's heavier and can irritate during installation. Rigid foam boards like polyiso, XPS, or EPS offer high R values in thin layers. Polyiso gives you R6 to R6.5 per inch, XPS about R5, and EPS around R3.6 to R4. They're moisture resistant and great for exterior walls or basements. Costs range from 70 cents to $1.50 per square foot. Installation can be tricky. Gaps at seams can reduce effectiveness. So how do you choose? First, consider your climate and where you're insulating. Attics in cold zones need R49 to R60. In warmer areas, R30 to R49 may suffice. Walls, floors, and basements have different needs. If budget is tight and you're DIYing, fiberglass or cellulose are solid picks. Want top performance and air sealing? Closed cell spray foam or polyiso rigid foam are worth the investment. Need fire resistance or sound control? Mineral wool shines there. Here's a simple decision framework. One, identify your climate zone and target R value. Two, match insulation type to your budget, installation ability, and performance needs. Three, Prioritize air sealing and moisture control, especially in attics and basements. 4. If space is tight, go for high R value per inch options like closed cell spray foam or polyiso. Let me know if you'd like help sizing insulation for your attic or walls, or comparing costs for your specific project.